Well, is this the real Pope Francis? Is this the message that he's spreading? I'm confused. Let's see if we can figure it out together. Off the top, guys, let me mention I'm now on Rumble. Have you subscribed there to me yet? If not, what are you waiting for? The link is down below. Go ahead and click it. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here. I could be thrown off YouTube at any point. Don't wait for that to happen. Get on over there to Rumble. Sign up. Check my content I'm putting out there. Also, please like this video. Share it. Hit the bell. Subscribe. And wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Pope Francis kicking off the month of June by dismissing Pride Month. Yes, and this came as a huge shock to me and I'm sure maybe to many of you as well because the Pope in the past has well really indicated that he stands in solidarity with those who are in the rainbow community. Now, he's come just short of actually saying that they should be able to get married. However, he has supported those that are trans, such like that. Uh, even at one point, you know, even hosting some of these people at the Vatican himself. So a confusing message, especially to those who know that Pope Francis, well, he's very left-leaning. We know this. He's paving the path for the eventual New World Order, the Antichrist, the one world government, the religion, the currency. We know everything that the prophecies are telling us here. You know, this guy wants to start all of it. I and mean, I've covered it here on my channel for nearly five years now. You know, he wants to repent to Mother Earth. I mean, <laughs> I could go on and on. The Great Reset, all of it. But with this message here, a video message to everybody, instead of going in the left-leaning direction, he's taking a different approach and talking about traditional Christian marriage. Now, I got more to say on this in just a second. We're going to go over what he said in the video. But let me mention, guys, if God lays it on your heart to help donate to our ministry, we would so much appreciate that. You know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They're not going to support Christian conservative content creators. But you can send a message that you will support what I do. The links are down below. You can do PayPal or Patreon. Guys, even just five bucks a month, you could sign up on Patreon. You get my exclusive podcasts. I talk more about sensitive information there. Plus, I also include the links to these YouTube videos up there because you're not going to get alerted every time a new video comes out. And... You can go ahead and comment on these videos there. Do it censorship free because YouTube is blocking and hiding so many of the comments that you guys put out there now. So Patreon is definitely the way to go. God bless all of you who are able to help us out with that. But getting back here in the video message of Pope Francis, urging Christians around the world for the month of June to pray for young couples, men and women who are looking to get married. And he said that, you know, there's been a lot of talk about how people are just afraid to get married in this uncertain time that we are in. But he says, I don't want people to be discouraged. Marriage is a blessing. Men and women should want to get married. This is a beautiful thing to do before God. Nothing in this at all hinted at one man marrying another or one woman marrying another. No, no, he kept this traditional right down to what the Bible says. And again, very shockingly, because this man doesn't really follow what the Bible says when it comes to other things. But this he did, no, no doubt, he's going to anger the rainbow people by this message, especially those that were within the Catholic Church that are trying to push Pope Francis to go ahead and affirm not just the lifestyle, but go ahead and give the okay on marriage in general for them. Now, it was about a couple of months ago that the Vatican came out and they gave that, what I said at the time too, was I thought a surprising statement, you know, declaring that... Uh, you know, relationships, they were not going to be blessing basically same-sex unions. And this rocked the rainbow community. They were not happy about it at all. You had all these different bishops and priests around the world that said they were going to defy what the Vatican said, and they were going to go ahead and bless these anyway, regardless of what they thought. I, I think in time, the Vatican is going to retract the statement. And I also think that even though Pope Francis is saying this now, and he's standing up for traditional Christian marriage, I think there is a time coming where he is going to turn and where he is going to go ahead and affirm that, oh no, you, you can have same-sex marriage. That's totally fine. In fact, bless it. It's a great thing. God approves of it. It's a matter of time. This day is coming. So I, I think right now, this is just a, you know, this is just to throw this out there. I don't know, maybe just to, just to appease uh, some of the more conservative Catholics out there but it will not last. You wait until this... Pre I mean, you already saw the, the backlash that came in from the Rainbow People when the Vatican made their statement. No doubt more of it's going to come in after what the Pope has said now. 
I think he's a fraud. I don't trust this guy for one minute. Don't you? Don't don't think all of a sudden he's turning a corner here, and all of a sudden he's going to be some kind of a different guy. It's not going to happen. Trust me, you're going to be disappointed. But I do want to get your thoughts on the Pope's statement. Do you think he's being genuine here, or is this just a cover up? And eventually he's going to expose himself as being totally okay with the rainbow marriage. I want to hear your thoughts on it. But guys, why is this all happening in the first place? The collapse of our entire world, the the moral collapse, really, if you look at it and how you know we've truly become what the Bible said was going to happen, you know, the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the coming days before the return of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ himself. This is why we do these videos, because we're trying to get people to Jesus. And maybe you clicked on this video and you thought that I don't know, this blind guy is going to talk about Jesus here and try to get me to Christ. But yeah, here we are. And some people may have already clicked off the video and that's cool. That's on them. But if you're still here and you're watching and you need to receive Christ, well, here's your opportunity. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. So what's your part in this? Well, you have to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there's no greater decision you're ever going to make than the one you make to give your life to the Lord. And I pray that you make that decision today if you haven't already. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Like I said, let me know your thoughts. Pope Francis, is he being genuine? Is he not? Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.